Okay, so now we've done all our staining in the back stain room. And we've, um, I showed you how to work the stainer and how to program it and how to set it up. Now I'm going to quickly show you some cover slipping. So I brought the bucket of clear. This, this is our, um, our xylene substitute in here. But the xylene substitute is not good for cover slipping. Um, it really saves us in the dark room from all the fumes, but it's, we can't use it for this purpose. So, so what I'm going to do is... I happen to have a rack in here waiting for me to cover slip, but so this xylene substitute, what I need to do is take it out of here, give it a quick couple dips in, in alcohol to get some of that off, and then put it in xylene for actual final being ready for cover slipping. And then I'll put this back in on the um, auto stainer. And I don't need this 100% alcohol right now, so I'll just put that off there. And now we'll start cover slipping. It's very important to pick the correct cover slip for um, the size of your tissue and slide and stuff. So I'm going to open up. We use this Richard Allen Scientific Cytoseal XYL. It's nice and thin and it works out nicely for, for our lab. In fact, I've encouraged other labs to switch to this particular brand. And, and I'm going to... Um, grab one of our slides. It says testy slide. It's kind of small. What I do is I put the cover slip medium on the bottom. Now if you see a bubble in the medium, it's going to have a bubble later. So you really want to watch where that bubble goes to. For this particular one, I think a size 40, a um, 24 by 40 millimeter cover slip will, fine, will be fine. I hold it by the corner of the glass cover slip and I get a, a little line like that, and then I bring it up. Now I see one slight bubble. My eye catches it. I don't know if the camera's catching it, so I'm watching where that bubble is. Okay, so I brought up. Now I'm holding the cover slip tightly with two fingers, and I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe the edges. So I'm wiping the bottom. You don't want to wipe the top. And I'm just wiping the edges a little bit. And you can just go like this too. That helps it. But now, remember I told you I saw a little bubble and I still see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out the bubble. But I do that after I've wiped the edges. And I'm going to push that bubble. You can't see it. You, you're not, you're not going to, nobody's going to be able to actually see the bubble. But, I'm, but what I'm actually doing is I'm taking these forceps. I'm not using my finger because it'll just smear the slide and I was pushing it out and it actually kind of came out and put a little bit of the mounting media in that one little dot where the bubble escaped. So again I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay let's do that again. Let's get another slide. I'm gonna um, put a line. I'm gonna hold the cover slip by the corner and I'm gonna bring it up. And if I see any bubbles, I'm going to push them out. But first, I'm going to wipe all the edges. And I'm going to put it over there. Now, if I wanted a larger cover slip, you do the exact same thing, a little um, line of mounting media. Now, some people find it easier to take the cover slip and put it on the paper towel first, put the line of mounting media on the actual cover slip, and then take the slide and do it this way. Now a lot of beginners find this method a lot easier. You Again, you're going to create a line on the bottom because you want it to be nice and smooth. This is not like um, immunofluorescence where you have water-based mounting media. And then you bring it up. This cover slipping is different than what you would do with a water-based mounting media. You do not plop the um, teach the slide down onto the slide unlike you what you would do with that um, for immunofluorescence it's a different method now we also have larger and smaller cover slips you do the same thing I'm gonna you know I wouldn't use a large one for one of these real big ones oh here we go so this one is gonna I'm gonna need this larger one whoops I want to do that I want xylene all over oh right reminds me xylene Wear nitrile gloves. You don't want to wear regular gloves for this because they're xylene resistant. 
Okay, now I see that bubble, so I know that that bubble, I want to watch it go, and there's actually a little tiny one next to it. So, again, I'm going to slowly bring it up. Now, I did see, as I was cover slipping, you're not maybe not going to see it with the camera, but I did see a bubble there and one there, so I'm going to push those out because my eye happens to catch those things as I'm doing it. So I'm wiping the slide first because if I try to push them out, before I wipe the slide, it's going to make a big smeary mess. So I'm going to push that bubble out. I don't know if you can catch it going. And I saw a little one over here. Okay, so it escaped right there. So I'm going to wipe the mountain media off and I don't want a smeary slide. And that's it. That's how you cover slip. And you just Now, um, when you dip these slides in from the Safe Clear into the 100% alcohol, you can do it a few dips. If you happen to leave those slides in this 100% alcohol, it's going to take out a lot of the um, ESN. And then you're going to have to go back and um, restain it with some of the ESN, dip it in the ESN and bring it down to the um, clear again. So don't leave it in the 100% alcohol. However, you can leave it longer in the xylene, especially if it's fresh xylene. If it starts getting alcohol in it, um, after a while, the xylene will actually have enough alcohol to take a little bit of the ESN out also. But realistically, if it's fairly fresh xylene, you can leave these slides in here for a day or two, and it will not hurt them until you can get to cover slipping them. Um, if you happen to come here and you dip it in the 100% and then you dip it into the xylene and it makes a foggy slide, that means somehow water has gotten into your 100% alcohol. What you need to do is you need to dump that 100% um, alcohol, put fresh in, bring the slides back into the 100%, give it a few dips, and then you can put it back in xylene and they won't be foggy anymore. Another thing about um, slides, you can also recover slip them once they've um, been stained and cover slipped. If you needed to take the cover slip off and soak them for a different stain or immunohistochemistry, just leave them soaking in the xylene. You don't want to force the cover slip off. Just leave them soaking um, until they can gently be um, touched with the forceps and, and gently removed. Usually that can take anywhere from half a day to overnight for that to fully soak a cover slip off. And I think that's about all the pointers I have on this.